welcome back to Let's Cook That, where my kitchen is seasoned with love. That's the only way all your recipes will come out delicious when you make everything with love, right? Today we'll be making some delicious cornbread since Thanksgiving is around the corner. But first, let me give a shout out to my cousin Little G, which he has his brand of clothing, Different Stilo, which I have on right now. And he also is a singer, he's a rap singer. So go ahead and check him out. His um, We'll leave all the information of him down below on the description. If you don't know where the description is at, right below the video, there's a little arrow, click it, it expands, and that's where we leave all the information on our ingredients and other videos and more information. So go ahead and check out Little G. Go ahead and support him on his Instagram, on his YouTube, and he has really cool music. Especially one of his older um, discs is um, Love Music. I love that CD. It's very nice music. It has kind of a Spanish and English, but it's really good. Go ahead and check them out. And one more shout out to Cookie with Tracy. She's a very lovely lady. Please go ahead and check out her page. If you guys like it, support it, please subscribe to her channel. And let's just show our love to um, everyone, you guys, okay? So let's get started with those ingredients. Okay, so the ingredients will be all-purpose flour, yellow cornmeal, white sugar, some salt, baking powder, two eggs, buttermilk, vegetable oil, some honey, and a stick of butter, which I don't have a stick of butter, so I will be using six tablespoons of butter, and parchment paper, some pan spray and let's get started for on this yummy corn bread. I will leave all the measurements on the description below. So first we're gonna go ahead and add all of our dry ingredients, which is the flour, the cornmeal, sugar, the salt, the baking powder. Let's go ahead and stir this very well so we can mix it very good. So once everything is mixed, we're gonna go ahead and melt the butter for like 10 seconds in the microwave. Now let's go ahead and crack our eggs. Oops, that's not supposed to happen. But second one. Now, let's go ahead and add our buttermilk. Let's mix it. Let's add our eggs. Our melted butter. and honey okay once we mixed it really well we're gonna go ahead and add pan spray to your baking dish and this is nine by seven what I'm using put pan spray all over you don't have pan spray to so go ahead and just put some butter and then our parchment paper I went ahead and cut it to fit to size and we're gonna go ahead and place it I just like to do this so it will be really easy if you want to flip it over and don't like not cut it in there just flip it over and then cut it so after this is placed let's go ahead oh by this time let's go ahead and turn on our oven to 400 because we will be baking it for 20 minutes but don't turn on your oven as soon as you start because if it's too hot, then it'll dry out your bread. So let's go ahead and pour it in here. Get everything in there. Okay, so while we let our oven to preheat, and I already have this ready to throw it in the oven, you guys, if you guys love these videos, love the recipes, they're easy, they're easy ingredients that you're able to find mostly everywhere because sometimes you see some, some recipes like, what is that? Where am I gonna get that? 
Well, these are easy recipes that with ingredients you could easily find. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, you guys. Please show that love. Please show the support. So our oven is to 400. Let's go ahead and throw it in the oven, 20 minutes, and then we'll put a toothpick. If it comes clear, it's done. It's been 20 minutes and let's poke it. It comes out clear. If it does not come out clear, leave it like another five minutes, but this is all done. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it cool down for like 10 minutes. Okay, so this is all done. You could actually cut it from here, like inside here, if you don't put the parchment paper, but since I wanna flip it to get it out of there, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So let's get this. Let me have a little, still a little warm, I believe. Hopefully we'll have luck. Let's remove the parchment paper. Okay, and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is flip it one more time to get it back to the top. It's still a little warm. Okay. So I do have some more melted butter right here. And what I'm gonna do is add more honey. And we're gonna go ahead and mix this. What I'm gonna do with the butter that's melted and the honey, I'm gonna go ahead and brush it on. This is optional, but it tastes really good. And we'll cut it in a bit. Okay guys, so this is our final results. I did cut them a little bit big, so I got eight pieces, but that's up to you, whatever size you wanna cut them. So let's go ahead and try these. They're so good, they're moist, they're delicious. If you don't want them like sweet, then just go ahead and don't add the, the honey. But let's give this a try. Mm, very moist and very good. Mmm, now I feel like I want a poppy. But, once again, very easy to make, very simple, very delicious, you guys. I would not put up a video if I don't like it, my family don't like it, maybe some of you guys won't like it, but it doesn't hurt to give it a try. I hope you guys do like it, though. Once again, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Let's Cook That. And remember, do everything with love. So that's the best seasoning on your food. Season with love. See you.